Tara Livingston. Did I pronounce that right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No problem. I get it all the time. It's Tiana Livingston. Tiana. Um, Thank you. I didn't write anything down. I just wanted to come here and speak just from the heart. Okay. Let's see how this works. And just a second ago, you had us just all stand and we set a pledge of allegiance to the flag, right? In that line, we said liberty, right? I also have a mask for my daughter. This is from a sixth grader that she wears at her school every day. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Okay. This is what we are telling our kids makes adults feel safe. If your staff and your teachers, and I love them, I moved to this district because you guys do an excellent job, but if you think this makes them feel safe, that defies common sense. It defies common sense. This is it's terrible. Okay. Ms. Cybola, you did your bond request a couple years ago last year, and I trusted you, right? First it was no, I go around. I get everybody, trust you, right? We have to have trust between you and all these people, right? Or it's not going to work. We're not going to have young ladies like this lady sitting here, intelligent, smart, speaks well, right? That's what we want from our schools. I've been a prosecutor for 15 years. I've done 150 homicides. I've done over 1,000 jury trials in Wayne County. I walked into this room more nervous than I ever have been. I've done multimedia cases, America's Most Wanted. Why am I shaking right now? Because it's never been this important. It's never been as important as it is right now for me to speak to you and tell you you got to take the mask off my kid. Okay? It makes me want to cry. It makes me upset. Why? Because I got a six-year-old with eyes that are blue as the ocean, hair as blonde as the hay. Her biggest thing when she found out she gets to go to kindergarten, you should have seen that smile. Break your heart. You don't see that smile. I asked her, what do you want me to say today? What do you want me to say? She said, Mom, don't worry about me, but can you tell them to ask, let the lunch ladies have their masks off too? Can you tell them I want to see Miss Malbert smile? That's from the mouths of babes, right? That's what we stand for. That's why we pledge allegiance. That's why we live in this country, because it's the best damn country there is, and we're letting people tell us to do wrong. We don't do wrong just because someone tells us. Thankfully, you guys didn't make our kids wear masks at recess, right? Now you got these other districts. Well, maybe we can take them off. No, sh duh, okay? We're asking you, stop restraining them. This is not liberty. This is a restraint. I'm begging you. I don't want to take my daughter out. I just retired from the prosecutor's office. I can teach her all day, but I can't socialize her. I can't teach her how to work with a group of tennis her whole life and become that star that she gets to be. I can't do that alone at 4723 Marsh Road. I can't do that myself, right? So when you guys, you want your bond, I trust you, right? Ms. Malberg needs something for her class. They put it on that, I pay the whole thing, no problem. You want a raffle because we can't get close? Here's $300, I don't care. Whatever it takes for you guys to need, because I trust you. We need you to trust us. We need you to trust us. My kid comes home crying. She said, Mom, I can't wear it. Mom, I can't wear it, Mom. Ellie, you don't have to wear it, baby. I'll take you out. Mom, I want to be with my friends. I just want to make friends. She was an only child. Now she's got a little brother. She just wants to make friends. We need you to trust us. I understand the state helps fund. I get that. You know what the state gets? They get money on count day. You know what they're not going to get? Count day from me. I can't do it no more. I can't do it. I know there's about 40 other parents that can't do it either. Okay? So I'm begging you. I'll beg you. Please tell them no. I didn't elect the health department from St. Clair County. I didn't elect Governor Whitmer. She can do, maybe we can just all apologize later and say we're just human. Or maybe we can just stand up right now and you can say, Ms. Cybulli could say, I'm going to do it. I'm done. I don't need the governor's exemption. I don't need to have someone tell me I'm not masking my kids. These are my kids. This is my school. This is my district. And you're not going to tell me what to do no more because they're not spreaders. They're not. If your teachers, if your teacher and your staff are scared, I understand. I get it. Let them wear a mask. Let them get vaccinated or let them stay home. We're done. We did it all for you. 
We stayed home. We told our children, if you didn't understand, you got to sit there. You got to watch this TV screen. You got to be six years old and try and figure out how to mute, unmute, right? You got to put this on your face if you want to go see your friends, right? We did that for you guys for a year and a half. Please make it stop. Please stand up for us. We'll deal with the consequences. We'll figure it out as a community. We will do it as a community. But we got to have you guys, man. Thank you for your time. Thank you.